Hello all, this is Gina Scrofano from Straight Twist, the website that brings you straightforward and well-balanced insight regarding animal welfare legislation. Today, I'm going to show you how to find out who your New Hampshire House representative is and how to access their contact information. Now the first step is finding out what ward you live in if you're living in a city that has wards and what your voting districts are. If you already have that information, you may feel free to fast forward this video to 4 minutes and 48 seconds. Now for those of you who don't, stay right here with me and I'm going to show you how to find out. Now the first step is to go to straighttwist.com. On this website is a consolidated list of every single locality in New Hampshire and each ward and district to save everyone the time and hassle of trying to hunt that information down. It's sort of a one-stop ward and district shop, so to speak. So once you get to straighttwist.com, which looks like this, you're gonna go to more on the top navigation bar and click on all articles. This just happens to be the easiest way to get to a particular article that you're looking for. Now currently it is showing right here because I just recently happened to post it, but if it's not in plain view when you arrive, you can go to the search bar that's right here and you can type in ward and districts. It doesn't have to be with a capital A. <laughs> And the article will come up right here for you. And you click right in there, and look at that, there it is. So you're gonna scroll down, and as you can see, each and every locality that has wards is listed right here for you. And for sake of example, we are gonna pretend that we live in Nashua, why not? So we click on the link for Nashua. This is gonna bring us to the City of Nashua page. And we're going to scroll down to where it says view a city ward map. Now each city's website will look a little bit different, but the instructions are there on the article to tell you where to look. So you open up the map, and this is uploaded by the city of Nashua, so you know you're receiving the most up-to-date info if the wards happen to change, which they don't often, but if they do, they'll be updated by the city. So we're going to go ahead and pretend that we live at the fairgrounds junior high school why not sure so as you can see each street is shown on the map so you can find out exactly where your address falls and which ward it's in so the high school just happens to be in ward six so now that we know what ward we are in we can exit there and we can go back to the straight twist article and we're going to scroll down to where it says districts. And then we're going to click on New Hampshire voting districts. Makes sense. Now this page is updated by the New Hampshire Secretary of the State. Now as you can see at the top here, it has each and every voting district. The one we're looking for today, of course, is the representative district. And that is right here on the right hand side. So, as we know that, we are going to scroll down and look for Nashua. And here it is, so I'm going to zoom right in for you. As you can see, the sheet lists the city or town on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side is the county, which in this case is Hillsborough. And then it lists each and every ward in Nashua. Now, for this example, we know we're in Ward 6. So we are going to follow that row all the way across until we get to the representative district. And in this case, that is number 33. Now that we have that information, we are done with this sheet and we can X right out of it. Now that brings us right back to our Straight Twist article about wards and districts. And this is where we just clicked on New Hampshire voting districts. Now underneath that, there are quick links available to find out who your New Hampshire Senator is and who your New Hampshire House representatives are. Now you can go ahead and use those quick links. However, part of the reason why this video was created is so that residents can become more comfortable with using the New Hampshire State legislature page. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward now and show you how to access that information manually. Okay, so now that we all know what our House of Representatives voting district is, we are going to go to gencourt.state 
.nh.us. And here it is in all its glory. So in the future, we'll go ahead and discuss a little more of what's available on this website. But for now, we're looking for a house rep. So we are going to go directly to House of Representatives and click right on that. That brings us to the New Hampshire House of Representatives homepage. In the center here, we have a short bio and a picture of the current Speaker of the House, and above that, a picture of Representatives Hall. That is where our representatives come together to vote on legislation and also sometimes have some public hearings. We're going to go to the top navigation bar, and we're going to hover right over Members. And for those who are guessing that the next step is to click on who's my legislator, you win because that's where we're going. And that brings us to the New Hampshire House members page. On the left hand side we have a house roster, but that's not going to do us any good because we don't know our rep's name. So we're going to go ahead and go to the right hand side where it says discover a town or city's representative because we want to make a discovery. So we have two options. We can use this drop down menu and select our town, or we can use this nifty interactive map below that has each and every county. And we're gonna go ahead and use that because I'm a geek and I think interactive maps are fun. So we're gonna click on Merrimack, and then we're gonna realize we are completely lost because Nashua is not in Merrimack County. Oh no, but that's okay. If you click on the wrong county, you can simply click on this New Hampshire map right above, and that will bring you right back to where you were before for take two. This time, we are gonna click on Hillsboro because that is where Nashua is. So of course, from Hillsboro County, we are now gonna click Nashua. This is the representative page for Nashua. Now each town and city will look somewhat similar. This has each and every ward and district listed along with each representative that represents those areas. We know for our particular example, we are using District 33, which is right here. Now bear in mind that residents do sometimes have more than one House representative voting district. So if you do have multiple districts, just make sure you look at them all. In this particular case, this Ward 6, Hillsborough County District 33, has three representatives who represent them. And we're going to go ahead and click on one of them. So this is what a House Representative bio page looks like. This page is for Representative Mark King. It has his name here at the top along with his political party and of course his picture. On the left hand side we have his county and the district he represents along with the seat number. That corresponds with the section and seat number where he sits in Representatives Hall. Now below that this is where the representative contact information is and my friends this is gold because that is what we use to get in touch with our representatives. It first has their address which is sometimes a PO box and sometimes a home address. Now we can use that to send them thank you cards. For instance, Representative Mark King in 2018 voted in support of two very important wildlife protection bills. So if you wanted to send him a thank you for doing that, you could do that using his address. Now there's also a phone number and an email listed. Phone numbers are best to use when we're trying to reach our representatives. Just bear in mind that some of these phone numbers, or many of them, are personal phone numbers, such as a cell phone number or a landline. And yes, some people still have those. So you want to make sure that you contact them during normal business hours. Contacting a representative at 2 a.m. to discuss legislation probably won't lead to the most productive conversation, just saying. So underneath the contact information is their voting record, and I'll show that to you quickly. So this doesn't have all the information that we're used to seeing here, only because the new term for 2019 just started recently, but it typically has the date that the representative voted. It has the bill number, the bill title, the motion in question, and then the way that they voted is showing here. Now we'll go into more details about what all this means at our later date, but just to give you a tip, if you do look up a representative's voting record, just make sure that you look up the bill based on the bill number and read the language of the bill, because sometimes the titles can be a little bit misleading as well as what the motion was. So unless you read the language, 
and you know what the motion means, you don't necessarily know exactly how a representative voted and you don't want to believe that they voted one way when they actually voted another. And coming back to the biography page, we have the bills that the representative has sponsored. Below that, it shows the House Committee where the representative currently sits, two things we will talk about more at a later date. And then below that, it has some more personal biography information, such as if they have their own website. And it also shows the term that they are on in the House. Now, we just started a new term, effective January 2019, and it looks like the House is still a little bit behind with updating this. Representative Mark King is on his second term in the House, and I'm sure they'll update that soon. Now, each term is actually two years served in the House. Now below that, it shows the localities that the representative represents. So if Representative King happened to represent more than one city or town, those would all be listed here. It might have some additional information below that, such as educational background or any positions they may have held in the past or still currently held in the present. And that concludes this video. I hope this was helpful to those joining the world of animal advocacy through local legislation. Thank you for your time and efforts towards safeguarding New Hampshire's animals and for watching this Straight Twist video today. And we will see you next time.